Need for Speed Unbound has a total of 25 free reward cards that you can win as you play through the story mode by winning races and completing activities. If you've missed any of them as I go over the list, don't worry as you'll get another chance to earn them once you complete the main story. Also, all cards awarded are upgraded and customised and only available at night time, but they'll be clearly marked on your map if you wish to get them. There are four cars each week and they usually show up near the end before the qualifier events. Starting off in week one, you'll have the chance to earn your first car which is the 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. It's not too bad but definitely handy as you can upgrade either this or the starter car to A class and keep the other in B class. Next is the 1990 Ford Mustang Fox body which I never ended up using but it looks pretty sweet with all of the upgrades to it. The 2006 Lotus Exige S is up next and is a great addition as it handles really well and with a few more upgrades it's actually pretty decent in some of the early races. And lastly for week 1, once you win the qualifier event, you'll be awarded your first legendary custom which is the 2015 Land Rover Defender. These cars are made to look one of a kind and every one of them is absolutely awesome to drive within the game. In week 2, there are once again 4 cars with the first one being a 1964 Aston Martin DB5. It's a B class so I didn't actually end up using it at the time but it's still a nice addition. Next up was a 2007 Mitsubishi Lancer EV Evolution, which I'm sure a lot of you will be happy with. I planned to buy one of these at some point so to get it for free was a huge win and like always this car is great so you can even use it in the end game if you really want to. Another fan favourite is also up next which is the 2011 Master RX-8. I can't remember how long it's been since we had the RX-8 in a Need for Speed game aside from Hot Pursuit Remastered so having it back and it also being one of the cars you can get for free is awesome. Then finally for week 2 it's another legendary custom which everyone went crazy for when they first teased it and that is the 2008 Ford Crown Victoria. Win the second qualifier and it's yours to keep. Moving on to week 3 for another 4 free cars with the first one being a 2019 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Out of all of the free cars that aren't legendary customs the design on this is easily the best and the most unique to look at and being a Hellcat it's a beast for race events. The 2016 Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio is next and became my go-to for the races and the third qualifier event. It's got decent acceleration as well as top speed for its class so it's definitely worth trying out. And to those of you that played Need for Speed Heat you'll remember this next one which is a 2020 Polestar 1. I'm yet to try this one properly but to what I know it also has some sweet body kits and can almost make it look the exact same as the cover car for Need for Speed Heat. And lastly for the third qualifier event you can win another legendary custom build of the 20. 17 Nissan GTR Premium Edition, which looks and sounds incredible. This will likely be the car you'll use starting week 4 as it's when they introduce you to other supercars into the race events so you'd need something that can keep up. And speaking of week 4, there are 5 cars up for grabs with the first one being a 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago SV. If you don't want to use the GTR, this is also a great option to go with once you chuck some upgrades on it. Next up is the 2018 BMW M5. I've not got my much to say on this one as I actually didn't use it but I'm sure some of you will likely find it very enjoyable. ASAP Rocky's custom one of a kind 1988 Mercedes Benz E190 will be the third car that you get after beating him in a head to head race. Where it's already pre-tuned it can reach 232 miles an hour so one of the fastest cars you'll have if you want to use it for the grand. And lastly before the final race you can also win a 2018 McLaren 570S Spider on the same night as the E190. I ended up using this as one of the cars in the Grand after maxing out the upgrades so it can easily beat all of the other drivers. And the final car is whatever you picked in the prologue that Yad steals from you which is either the 1969 Dodge Charger, the 1988 Lamborghini Countach 25th Anniversary Edition or the 1998 Nissan Silvia S14. And that's all of the cars awarded from race events and the remaining ones are unlocked by completing all of the activities and collectibles which I'm yet to do so I'll have to show them from the dealership as they're locked. If you break all of the billboards you'll receive a 2016 Ford Focus RS. 135 stars on long jumps unlocks the 2015 
Nissan 350Z Nismo, 90 stars on all speed runs, unlocks a 2015 Porsche Cayman GT4, smashing all of the bare collectibles gets you the 2016 BMW M4 GTS, 105 stars on drift zones, unlocks the 2018 McLaren 600LT, collecting all of the street art, unlocks the 2015 Ferrari 488 GTB, and getting 150 stars on speed traps, unlocks the 2017 Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster. If you complete every single challenge and activity within Need for Speed Unbound, you'll then receive a 1981 BMW M1 with the legendary customs body kit equipped to it. And lastly, as a little bonus, there is also somewhat of a free car that's exclusive to multiplayer, being the most wanted BMW M3 GTR. I say somewhat as you need to be subscribed to EA Play, and if you are, the M3 will be added to your garage for free when you load up multiplayer for the first time. Oh, and something else sweet is that every single car I listed before will also get added to your multiplayer garage, so definitely worth playing through the single player. Those are all 25 free cars that you can unlock in Need for Speed Unbound. On screen now is another video, and I'll see you there real soon.